So the last quadrilateral, a shape with four sides that we're gonna learn in this unit, are about trapezoids. And the thing that makes trapezoids different from all those other parallelograms we've learned about is that this shape only has one set of parallel lines. DE and CF are parallel. They'll go on forever, never intersect. But we can see right here, DC and EF, if you continue those, they're gonna hit each other up here. So they're not parallel. Trapezoids only have one pair of parallel sides. So that changes what we know about the angles on the inside. So this question is asking, what is the measure of angle D and what is the measure of angle F? D and F. And you can already see in this example, opposite angles, they're not the same in, an isosceles, sorry, in a trapezoid. They're different. So we're gonna have to change our logic. What we know with an isosceles trapezoid, sorry, with a trapezoid, not isosceles, I don't know what I'm saying. What we know with a trapezoid is that two angles that are adjacent to each other, that are in between the two parallel lines, which we're gonna call bases, we know that these two angles will be supplementary. They add up to 180. So if they're on the same side and on different bases, those two angles are gonna be supplementary and they'll add to 180. So to find the measure of angle D, I'm gonna find the other angle that's on the other base, and those two have to add up to 180. So 65 plus x, we'll call this one x, has to equal 180. I'll just subtract my 65 from both sides, and we'll get that x is equal to 115 degrees, which means that angle D is 115 degrees. But like I said, opposite angles in a trapezoid aren't congruent. So we still need to find angle F down here, and we're not gonna be able to use our 115 or the 65, because the only thing we know about angles in a trapezoid are the two angles that are on the same side and on different parallel lines, on different bases, those are the angles that are supplementary. So you have to make sure they're on the same side of the trapezoid and on different bases, on different parallel lines. And that's, those are the two angles that will be supplementary. So let's find out, oh wow, getting a little crazy over here. Let's figure out angle F now. We know that 45 plus angle F, which we'll call Y, because we already used X up there, will equal 180. We'll just have to subtract our 45, we'll subtract our 45, and Y will equal 135, 135. So you see that in trapezoids, opposite angles are no longer the same. We just know that these adjacent angles between the bases are supplementary. All right, and as usual guys, it's algebra time because we gotta make it a little more complicated so we know how to set up equations to solve for x. So this equation is asking for the measure of angle B and the measure of angle D. So the measure of angle B and the measure of angle D. So let's first start by what you're given. I gave you angle C and angle B. And if we remember, a trapezoid only has one set of parallel lines, C, D, and B, E are parallel. So the thing that we just discussed is that two angles that are on the same side of the trapezoid and they're on different bases, they're gonna be supplementary. So those two angles will add up to equal 180. So let's go ahead and try and find uh, solve for x. We're gonna take our first angle, 5x plus 40, that was angle C, plus what we know about the other one, 7x plus 8, and those have to add together to equal 180. Now we just have to solve for x. We'll combine our like terms. We'll subtract 48. So 12x equals, let's see, 132. We'll divide by 12, divide by 12, and we'll get that x is equal to 132 divided by 12, which comes out to a nice 11. But we're not done yet, because I wanted you to find the measure of angle B, and we just solved for x, those aren't the same thing. So we have to take the algebra that we know about angle B and substitute our answer where we see x. So in this problem, we'll take what we know, 
about angle B, 7x plus 8, and we'll substitute in our 11. 7 times 11 plus 8. 7 times 11 is 77, plus 8 will be 85. So angle B here is 85 degrees. Now the question also asks you to find the measure of angle D. Now we know how to go from angle B to angle C because those are supplementary. But like we discussed in the previous problem, we only know things about the two angles that are on the same side and in between the bases. So since I don't know anything about angle E, that means I don't know anything about angle D. So in this question, we actually do not have enough information. We only have enough information to talk about angle C and angle B, since that's all we gave you in the problem. All right, guys, so the next shape we're gonna talk about is still a trapezoid, right? It's still a trapezoid. Uh, but the thing that's changed here is you'll notice we have a little mark on each side here, okay? And we have two sides that are the same. Uh, so this is called an isosceles trapezoid. Just like our isosceles triangle had two sides that were the same, this, our isosceles trapezoid, has two sides as well. So this one asks us to find measure of angle Q, R, and S, all three of the missing angles. So let's think back to what Mr. Bakke just talked about. If I have two angles uh, that are next to our parallel lines uh, and in between those bases, right, these two angles here have to add up to 180. So if I, uh, if I want to find that out, I'm just going to do 180 minus 61, and we're going to find out that this is 119. So this angle right here is 119. So let's go back over here. Angle Q is 119. And now we're looking for measure of angle R and angle S. If this was just a normal trapezoid, the type that Mr. Bakke talked about before, we would be stuck and we would write not enough information. But these little hash marks here actually tell us a lot about this shape, okay? Uh, this is a isosceles trapezoid, which means that these two sides are the same. And that tells us quite a bit of information. Um, if you guys remember from with our isosceles trapezoids, um, we made these into little faces and brought our angle over to the other side, right? Make our little smiley face. That works for isosceles trapezoids as well. These angles that are next to each other and on the same base uh, are actually congruent. So not only is this 61, we've got a 61 over here as well. And same thing up top, 119 is gonna match over here. We've got 119 again. Okay, so now we'll just bring over our answers from our shape. R was 119 and S was 61 degrees. The isosceles trapezoid has a couple things that are different from 